Gaming and today we're going to go and show you how this StarCraft 2 editor works to make like a normal map that you can just play on Melee. Um, it's pretty simple in a way. Um, it can get kind of confusing though with all the different features that you can put into a map. There's a bunch of different doodads and stuff. We'll get into that in a minute. First you want to go and go to New Melee. And choose whichever one of these you want. I like to do the Legacy of the Void. And this you can go and adjust your different types, like what uh, your width or height is, um, depending on what kind of map you want to build, if you want to build a big one or a small one. Um, I'm going to do 128. And you can pick the different type that you want to start out with. Core Hall, um, I'm just going to go with, sure, the tiles. Hit OK. All right, then you got this map right here. So the blue border right here, if you want to view it, it is under view. You could do a grid if you want. That's the precise building. Um, I'm going to turn that back off. The placement grid is what uh, this is. So this is will show you exactly what you can place on and what you can't place on. Like the red means no, green is yes. After that, See, this is where you find the, the bounds. You can turn that on and off the blue and yellow. I like to leave it on just so I know where everything's at. That just is a good way to know where I can build and where I can't build. All right, first thing you want to do after you get this, this border and everything like that, you would want to go to map and then you want to go to symmetry. Go to symmetry. Go to rotational, bring this little line across here. So what that does is anything I build on this side of the map, it's going to also build it on this side. So you can make maps pretty quick that way. So let's just go and build some mountains here real quick, or hills. Um, we're going to go to the terrain. So these four buttons you're going to use the most when you're doing just a regular melee. So this one, you want to go make sure that's on cliff. Go to raise cliff, and we're going to just put the mountain right here. Now you can adjust the different size, and if you want a circle, one, or a diamond. But anyway, you can go and do the different sizes if you're building it a big one. You can adjust it. Make more hills on top of more hills. Control Z to undo. And then so after you do that, and you got your like little base or whatever that you want to make, all the different hills or whatever, um, to go and put down resources and everything like that you want to go to units and then you type in minerals so after you get the minerals you just want to place them down kind of space out a little bit so they're not all together because that can kind of screw up the scvs a little bit and then after you do that you want to go and put down a command center this will kind of show you where your starting location will be. It isn't your starting location yet, but or your uh, starting point. But it's just going to show you like how close can you get. So after you do that, then you want to do uh, the Vespine gas. So we're going to put one right there. We're going to put another one pretty much as close as you can to that. So after you do that, 
this side's already getting built the same exact thing. So after you do that, now you can go and put your starting location down. So it's just under points and then start location. And if you put it like too close to the minerals, then it won't work. It, it won't be able to spawn the, the building. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second. So you want to put it right where the command center is. Just like that, you got another spawn location right there. After you're done with that, then you can go back to units. And then hit spacebar, or you can go to selection mode from tools. Select it. And then you can just go ahead and delete that. Hit the delete key. Like that. And you'll see like a little base already on there. That means you're good. Now the that one year gonna go and test out the map it will spawn that but just to show you what happens if you get too close I'm gonna go back to that start location and let's say you put it too close to that it won't you won't be able to see any of the pictures spawning right there so this is not gonna work so I want to get rid of that so I go back to selection mode Select that one, and then I'm just going to delete it. Alright, so after you have that, and you're on this hill, you can go ahead and go back to the terrain one. And you're going to go to cliff, and then you're going to add ramp. Now, you can adjust the size so it doesn't have to be that big. You can just do a little one if you want. I'm going to put it right uh, right there. And you can put another one right here if you want. Right here. Wherever you really want it. So after you got that done, if you want to change the different colors, like you want the hill to be a different one, you go to the paintbrush. Select whatever kind of mode you want and say, I want green. And we're going to do smaller increments, so it makes it kind of look patchy. Or if you don't want it patchy, you can go turn this up a little bit. And then it'll just put the grass down right away. So that's what the increments mean. Different size, obviously. You can fill up more ground and everything like that. Um, after you get that, you want to go and put some trees down if you want. Um, you just go to doodads, and then after you get to doodads, you can just find it on the list, or you can go and just type in trees. There's a bunch of different trees that you can get. Place it down wherever. Or grass. Tall grass. You just can kind of play with it and then everything that you do on this side does it on this side because of the symmetry. So the other thing I was going to go and tell you guys is that uh, when you go and you are trying to go and select stuff and it's not working, it just won't select anything. You want to go to layer, select from all layers. And then that allow you to click on the Vespine gas and everything like that. When you do that, um, when you're able to select everything like that, you can double click it. And then it'll give you, bring up this menu, you can put the resources. So you can adjust this to however much resources you want that to be. So say you want, you know, 40,000. Hit OK. And then you can go to the next one and hit 40,000. Okay, and that's how you adjust the different minerals. I'm not sure exactly if you can go and select them all. I'm not sure how you can. So if you know how to go and select all the resources and everything like that, um, please leave a comment and let me know because I can't figure it out. 
Uh, so I have to individually do every one, which is kind of tedious, but, you know, it is what it is. So you have to go to all the different ones, and then you place down to adjust them. Because they're all set to a certain default, and I'm not sure how to go and make the default any bigger besides it doing it this way. Um, and these will not change either. So you have to do these ones individually as well. The sym symmetry will not work on that. So that's how you adjust the different kinds of resources, how much you have in them. So after you get that done, all your resources are how you want it. And everything's looking good. You got your map all set up. What you want to do now is go to um, map, map info. This is where you go and type in um, whatever your name is. Awesome map. So then you're going to go to suggested players, however many players you have. So one to two is what I'm going to put. And description, you're just going to say whatever you really want about your map. Um, this is just to show you how whoop, how to do it. After you get that, you can hit OK. So now that's pretty much done. And then what else you need to do? And you're not quite done yet. So you need to go to uh, Map Player Properties. Now what you want to do is this is set to User. And for player two, you want to set to user. And if you want your start locations to be a specific one, like player one always starts on the bottom, or player one always starts on the top, you want to go to uh, start location, and then you pick whichever one you want that person to start at. So player two starts at two. Player one starts at one. Hit OK, and then once you're all done with that, you can go and test out the map by hitting this button. Test document, but everything looks good how it is with all the start locations and everything like that. So it will work. And now how do you go and play the map besides doing the test? Well, what you need to do is then you go to publish. And then you got to log in, of course. So this is just the different regions that you can go and um, do whatever region it is. Once you're already in Blizzard, then uh, or StarCraft, it will. You already have your region. So this is the one that you're currently logged into. You just hit next. And then after you do that, it'll give you some red deals right here that you need to go and do so the publish name awesome map is not available so i guess dang it we're gonna have to go and change it so v1 version one all right that works now locked it'll tell you right here what it does uh, basically you can't open it and nobody else can either on your map so nobody can edit your map if you know, you don't. If you don't want it to be changed or messed up or anything, or somebody's still your, your stealing your work, then you can go and hit lock map, and that's if you are already done with it and you're, you know, happy with it. Or you can go to unlock, and that just basically means you can go back in and edit it. For some reason, I don't know why, I can't click on the unlock very good like they're too close or something like that i don't i don't know what the deal is so after you hit yes it's ready to publish so you hit next it's ready to publish um this doesn't this just tells you the storage requirements and stuff like that and then all you do is hit okay and then you'll be able to play it and that has been your the tutorial for StarCraft 2 editor. I hope this went and helped you out. 
in a way because it took me a while to figure out how to do everything. So hopefully you guys can start creating maps and make something truly great. But this has been Kanapa Gaming, and I'll catch you guys later. You guys have a good one. Thanks,